Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Josue, hello, Rebecca. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Jennifer. Lorena, Rebecca. Hello, Catherine. Uh, Helen. Juan Antonio, Jose Angel. Hello, good evening. Good Carla evening. Vanessa, hello, hello. Do any favor to activate your camera, please. Remember about the importance of, uh, of activating the camera. Well, welcome. Let me see, I have 12 people and still Thank waiting you. for. Okay, Juan Antonio, do any favor to activate your camera. Uh, let me see. Today we're going to continue studying something that's not complicated, okay? So don't worry about it. Uh, uh, there is something that's important this week. Teacher. Hello, Josue. Uh, uh, um, um, working right now, so I... I will not talk to anything, just. You you will be as a listener, Josue. Yeah. All right, okay, don't worry. I will take it into consideration, okay? Okay, thank you. Don't worry, okay, but try to get connected. I can see Goretti, hello, Goretti. Hello, teacher. Hello, how's everything? How is everyone? Okay. How are you? You're okay? Uh -huh. Yes. Excellent. Hey, let, meanwhile, the rest of the people uh, get into the class. Let me know about something that you have studied lately. All right? Se recuerdan que yo siempre les he dicho eh, que hay que aprender algo nuevo en inglés. Veamos qué han aprendido. Veamos. Okay. Jennifer, let us know about something new that you have learned in English. Activate your microphone, okay? No le entendí. Oh, recuérdense que todos los días hay que aprender algo nuevo en inglés. Una palabra, cinco palabras, cinco frases, lo que ustedes deseen, pero siempre mantenernos aprendiendo algo. Poco, mucho, o más o menos, bueno, dependerá de ustedes. Ajá, mm -hmm. soy Jennifer. Teacher, la verdad no... No estudié este fin de semana porque me tocó trabajar. Ah, okay, Jennifer. Okay, so remember, remember that's important, right? To, to learn a little bit, okay, a couple of words, a couple of expressions in English, uh, something new. Es importantísimo que vayamos aprendiendo de poquito a poquito, eh, pero el ritmo no, no se preocupen. Puede ser un ritmo lento, puede ser un ritmo rápido, ahí dependerá de cada quien, ¿verdad? Pero es bueno ir aprendiendo siempre alguna frase o algo. Fernando. Richard, yo le estuve escribiendo al WhatsApp porque he tenido unos problemas con la plataforma. Estuve mencionando eh, que yo no sabía. Eh, pues estuve escribiendo en la plataforma. Me fui a hacer los exámenes finales en vez de hacer los módulos 1 y 2. Entonces me estuvieron escribiendo eh, que iba atrasado. Entonces me salen las evaluaciones que voy a cero. Entonces, por eso yo iba prácticamente, voy como desubicado de todo, porque no, eh, no, no iba entendiendo dónde es que teníamos que ir orientando en la plataforma, cada, en cada módulo donde teníamos que hacer como las tareas, ¿verdad? Yo he estado en las clases y todo, pero le estuve escribiendo ya dos días y no, no tuve suerte con, con que me contestara, ¿verdad? Entonces ya la, la, la orientadora más o menos ya me explicó, pero entonces ahorita sí voy súper atrasado en todo, ¿verdad? Ok, Fernando, no se preocupe. Fíjese que yo tengo la dificultad que en el día trabajo en un lugar en donde no tengo conectividad. Entonces yo logro conectividad hasta justamente hasta esta hora. Pero no se preocupe porque usted puede eh, continuar trabajando en la plataforma sin ningún problema, ¿ok? No se preocupe, Fernando. Margarita. Hello, Margarita. Bueno, creo que eh, en una que no me dieron bien, 
porque no la entendí, sino las direcciones, yo creo que en esa parte quizás eh, me falta completar. Y también me escribieron, pero me imagino que solo ha de ser esa parte que está mala la, la respuesta. Ok, so, recuérdense que también tienen un, la oportunidad de volver a realizar los ejercicios. ¿verdad? Si se equivocó en algo, tiene la oportunidad de corregir para que el sistema o la plataforma guarde los cambios y su nota siempre sea alta. Nos interesa que aprendan primero y segundo que sus puntajes no bajen del 80%. Eso es, eso es muy, muy significativo y deben de aprenderlo desde ya que estamos en el, en el básico hasta donde Dios permita que ustedes lleguen con el curso, ¿ok? Ok, Rebeca. Eh, yo me quiero disculpar que justamente voy ahorita a, a subirme, voy llegando al aeropuerto que voy para El Salvador de regreso y justamente es mi hora de vuelo ahorita. Seguramente son unos 10 minutos más, voy a poder estar conectada, pero yo voy a estar escuchando la clase por si apago la cámara. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for letting me know about it. Hey, remember, en la mayoría de las ocasiones voy a comenzar preguntando, hey, ¿qué aprendiste ahora? ¿Qué palabra? ¿Qué frase? ¿Qué oración? Ok, porque el aprendizaje yo siempre se los he dicho que es todos los días, en cualquier momento del día. ¿Verdad? Ustedes sabrán cómo tendrán su jornada, pero aunque sea una palabrita, algo, es de ir echándole a, a nuestra alcancía de inglés para eh, que en algún momento nos volvamos millonarios en inglés, con palabras, con expresiones, porque eso es lo que buscamos, ¿no? Ok, entonces, bueno, vamos a empezar ahora con algo similar a lo que estuvimos trabajando la vez anterior. Y me cambio al inglés. Recuérdense que las clases deben ser 100% en inglés. En algunas oportunidades muy escasas es que uno se pasa al español. Así que, pues, let us start. Okay. Hello, eh, Goretti. How do you say alcancía? That is a piggy bank. It's a piggy, piggy, bank. A piggy bank. That's right. So okay. we may have a piggy bank, right? So okay. that we can, we can say every single word in English. Uh -huh. Okay, so let us start. I have some, well, you know, it, the working in the platform is very important because somehow we have the direction on the activities we need to, we need to solve. Wow, section, hey, in which section we're gonna be working during this week, people? Section number? Three. Number three, okay. So, and it happens that we're going to encounter information about conversations, about, uh, you know, negative statements and just no question with B. Sounds familiar, right? Because in the past, we have already studied something about it. Syllable, syllable stress, which is very important when talking, okay, and when identifying the syllable uh, in the words. You know, in Spanish, we have... Words and those words are composed of syllables. In English, it happens the same story, right? So syllables, number and ages, double H questions with the verb to be, and adjectives. So this is the week, this is going to be the week all about. So we need to take advantage of time. We only have like 60 minutes, right? And we have one conversation over here in order to uh, introduce the topic that we're in church of during, during uh, these 60 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna see it now, but first off, let us, let us read the way it is over here. And then we, do, we will discover if we are just pronouncing the in the right way. So for example, we have team. What does team say? What is the question that Tim asked? Are you from, Are you from California, California? Yeah. Jessica? Uh, okay, now listen carefully. Something that we need, to, we need to learn is that in English, we need to sound naturally, right? So we're gonna see. Todavía no lo hemos escuchado ninguna vez. No sé si ustedes ya lo escucharon este, en días anteriores, pero en las clases, primera vez. So vamos a buscar sonar o tratar de sonar de manera natural, okay? So, Tim says, once again, people. 
Are you from California, Jessica? Okay, sounds better. And Jessica says? <clears throat> California. Well, my family is in California. Uh huh. But we're from Korea yeah. originally. All right. And Tim says, Oh, my mother is Korea from Seoul. Seoul. Are you from Seoul? I'm from. No. 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 We're not from Seoul. We're from. We're from. Belgium. <laughs> so, is your first language Korean? So, is your yes. first yes. language Korean? Yes, it is. All right. Yes, it is. Hey, welcome, new students. Okay, so. We're gonna listen to it and we're gonna notice about the specific point I'm just asking you to notice about. Natural, okay? Listen to the way the American people speak. Here we go. Listen, because later you're gonna read it once again. Hey, what's going on with this? I have problems with it. Let me see. I don't know what's going on with this video. Let's see, I will try once again. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates how Yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California <coughs> now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you simple like that right so it is a very short conversation but it's quite important right so can you read the first part once again when team when team participates are you from California, jessica now listen carefully something else that you need to keep in mind hey what is the environment where are they where are they people where are they? Welcome, new student. Ah, they are, they are some environmental friends. Okay, so and they are having some food, some beverages, right? And they are having a great time together. Yes or no? Some meeting, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, that's right. So it seems as if they are enjoying, right? So oh, now if you oh. come and you say, are you from California, Jessica? No, right? So they are in a diff. <laughs> in a different environment, right? So let us try once again. Okay, now let us start with Tim. Tim, where are you? <laughs> are you from California, Jessica? That uh, sounds better, right? And Jessica says. Well, my family is in California now. Well, both were from Korea originally. All right, pretty good. Then Tim? Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? Seoul? Great. No, we're not from Seoul. We're from the the Hill. <laughs> Dejeon. All right. Dejeon. And Tim says? So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Yes, yes it, is. it is. All right. So A hey, sounds better, right? Uh -huh. So something that you need to keep in mind is that or uh, is that um when you listen to American people, because they are American, right? They are they their native language is English. So when you encounter uh, a conversation in which American people speak 
Well, actually, I don't think if they, according to what we have here, one of them is, is from Korea, but her English, yeah, her is because we're talking about Jessica, her English is quite uh, good, okay? So whenever we encounter this, this kind of exercises, we need to practice everything, okay? We need, we need to imitate, you know, imitate, right? Cuando nos encontramos con cualquier uh, recurso como este, hay que aprovecharlo al máximo. ¿Por qué? Porque son personas que hablan el inglés o son nativos de los Estados Unidos. Entonces, nosotros siempre, y esto es clave, por eso se lo digo en español, es clave que nosotros imitemos la manera como ellos hablan. ¿Ok? Inclusive cuando este... Um, hay preguntas, hay que hacer sonido de preguntas y como ellos lo hacen cuando hay, por ejemplo, eh, signos de admiración también, ¿ok? De tal modo que mientras más familiarizados estemos con el idioma, mejor. Let's see. No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. Okay, so as, as you notice, the guide says that this conversation will be very useful. Why? Because the more we practice, the more we learn. So we're going to go over this grammar. Okay, people, I already introduced the, 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 the topic that we're in charge of working tonight. That's about negative statements and just no questions with the verb to be. Now, last week we were talking a lot about the verb to be, right? So, and we will continue doing so. Why? Because it is basic level of English. And we are just trying to get the, mo the most significant part of the, of the um, basic vocabulary. Hi, everyone. In this class, take a look, how please. To form negative statements and yes and no questions would be. Let's start by looking at the examples on the screen. All the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements. All right, so what do we have here, people? Can you read the first part? I'm not from New York. All right. So this is important, right? Mm -hmm. Because we say I or I'm. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. not. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm, okay. I'm not. Important for you I'm to pronounce not. the M sound. Okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not from New York. Okay. What about second one? Mm -hmm. You're not late. Excellent. You're not late. She's not, She's not from Russia. Russia. She's, not, She's from not, Russia. not from Russia. He's, He's not, not from Italy. He's not from Italy. He's not English. It's not English. We are not from Japan. Okay. Japan. We are not from Japan. Japan, okay? We are not you're from not, Japan. You're uh, not early? You're not early. They are not, they are not in, in Mexico. Mexico. They're not in Mexico. They are not in Mexico. We are. Here we are. is the same as we are. Okay? We are. We are. We are. We are. Okay, we so are, we are. Uh, mm -hmm. what do you notice? What do you notice? The only thing you need to do in order to make the statement negative is to include the word not, right? Not, 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 not. And we have negative statements, okay? With mm -hmm. the verb to be. I'm not, you're not, he's not, etc. So this is quite simple, but important when using the correct grammar and also we have uh, questions but i think the guy is going to read them and then i will ask you to read them in the right way once again pay attention statements would be you need to follow this next formula subject 
plus verb to be plus not plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. I mm -hmm. am not, not New York. From New York. The example above. When express spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say I'm not from New York rather than I am contraction, not important, from New York. Right? We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not you are not late. now let me talk about making late. questions to be. This is the structure to follow. Verb to be plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So are you from California? From California? Question mark at the end. Uh, am I? Am I? Early. Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Italy. Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? If you notice the examples above, you can see that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of questions, you will typically give a short answer, such as the examples that you see on the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now it's your turn to practice. Give as many examples as possible, forming questions and answers, and then share them in our discussion forums. Okay, so examples above, you can something that I consider it's important about the information the guy has already presented is that you should notice about the position of the different parts of a sentence, okay? With the verb to be, of, of course. Now you know. Where to be am um, is are okay, and since we are talking about negative statements, we need to include the word not plus a complement. Okay, so this is in the negative form. So, but when you have questions, so as you notice so here, verb to be okay. Uh, in the in this one, you start by using the verb to be. I mean the subject pronoun, the verb to be not plus complement. But when you create questions. You start by using the verb to be, then the subject, then the complement, and finally the question mark. Okay? So this is the way you, you work with it. Okay? So last time we were talking about it, we saw some exercises, but I, I included tonight, I included another page which I will share with you now. I, I have like two or three pages that we're going to be working on that you can see in the chat. I will include it in the chat right now so that you are aware about the activities that we are solving this, I mean, tonight during this class. Okay, so you have some exercises also that you can, you can work with. And finally, this is the last one, right? So, so you have more links. You have more links to see what's coming or what's all about the verb to be in different forms. Okay, as you can see, we have like uh, another chart, like the one we saw in the presentation. Okay, but. As you, as you can see, this is the same info that we discussed previously. Okay. Like having the verb to be, but in this way, it, you have it in the contractive form, which is important to put it into practice also. 
Okay, now, how do you pronounce this one? I'm. I'm. I'm not. This one? I am not. You're not. You're not. She's not. She's not. She's not. She's not. not. It's not. We're not. We're not. They are not. They are not. They are not. Now, same story, right? So we are. We are. We are. The same. We are. This chart is very is very similar to the one that we have just that, that we have just seen in the previous period, right? So then we have questions: Are you, am I, is she, is he? Now, something that you need to keep in mind when talking about when when creating the questions with is she, is that you don't say is she no. Tiene que aprender esto. Miren, es muy básico, mm -hmm. pero pero es muy importante cuando tiene acá is. She, se dan cuenta que tiene dos S. Uh -huh. Pero cuando usted habla, usted no dice is, she, no. Sino que usted lo pronuncia como una sola S. Is she, is she, is she, is she from the US? Is she, is she, so you see? Is she, is she, is she, is she. Is she. Is she. that's right. So, lo mismo sucede con, con este. Vamos a unir este con este. Easy. 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 Ajá, cuando hablamos easy. de manera natural. Ok. Ok, usted lo puede decir. Hey, is he from Mexico? Ok, sí, claro. Esa es la pronunciación correcta. Pero, cuando hablamos de manera natural, tendemos a unir sonidos. Easy, is she, am I, am I. Ok, is she, is it, is it, lo mismo aquí, miren, is it, no digo, is it, mm -mm. is it, are you, are we, are they, ok, so esas cositas van a hacer que su inglés suene mucho mejor, ok, the same, cuando ustedes miren contracciones, ok, hay que pronunciarlas, no hay que tenerles miedo, porque yo veo que algunos en lugar de decir I, dicen I am, como para, para evadir la, la, la forma contractada. Y no, no hay que evadirla. Hay que enfrentarla. I'm, your, she is, his, it's, queer, your, and their. ¿Ok? So, the more we practice, the, 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 the more we are, we are going to feel like more comfortable with the language. Ok, so, let us see the, the grammar that we have here. We have one conversation and we need to practice. Are Diana and Mario from Ecuador? No, what? Carla. Sí, tengo una duda. Yeah. Cuando eh, entiendo que en algunas oraciones se debe de usar la contracción de allá, pero ¿en qué casos es que debe de aplicar? Por ejemplo, es un ejemplo, en el caso de allá. Ajá. En esa parte. <coughs> ok, so, por ejemplo, acá, ¿Are you from Sao, Sao Paulo? Usted no. puede decir yes o no, pero usted puede decir yes, I am. Yes, coma, I am. Pero nunca puede decir yes, I'm. Cuando usted pronuncia okay. con yes, coma, no, contractado, no puede decir I'm. Es la única. Yes, I'm. Ya de ahí, am I early? Yes, you are. Tampoco. Yes, you're tampoco se puede. Miren, siempre que sea positivo, no se puede contractar la respuesta de yes. Yes, you're no. Yes, she's tampoco. Yes, he's no. O sea, cada vez que contestemos con sí, no lo vamos a okay. contractar. Ok. Oh, okay. Si, con, si contestamos no, ahí sí. Ven. No, I'm not. No, you're not. No, she's not. No, okay, so, but when we have yes, we are not going to contract it. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Pretty Thank good. You. All right. Now, let's see. Let us try to solve some exercises that we can see on here. 
Now, are you, are Diana and Mario from Ecuador? No, no what? Are not. No are not, okay, no are not. Uh -huh. That's it? No, I'm not sure. Uh -huh. No, they are not. Ah, remember, no, coma, there. ¿Se puede contractar? Sí, porque lo vamos a contestar en negativo. No, they are not. No, they are not. Ajá, uh -huh. and then? Mm -hmm. They are from, Me from Mexico. They are. <laughs> from Mexico. What about Sorry. this one? How did you? Are you from Mexico too? Are you from Mexico too? No? I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm from Colombia. So, Are you? Mm, but what are we it's, talking about? Huh? It is. Is, is, so is your first language Spanish? Is your first language Spanish? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it, yes, is. Yes, it, yes, is. it is. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now let's go over the next part. So you have Jihai, I don't know how to pronounce this, but let us let us pronounce it like he he hi he hi. Uh huh. Are you? Are you? Are you in Juan Ho from South Korea? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. In. Are you? you? Are you? Are you from Seoul? Are you from Seoul? 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 No. 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 Uh, not. no, but listen, uh -huh. who are they talking about? They are talking about two people. Hi. Oh, we. Ji Hai and Wang Ho. No. We no, are not. We're, uh, we're, so we're not. not right? we're, so, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Uh huh. We are teacher. From... Hello. Hola, teacher. Soy Ingrid. Este, la disculpa del caso. Se me fue el interi. Creo que se cortó eso. Ay, después me voy a meter a lo que es la plataforma para ver el video hoy. All right, uh, don't worry, Ingrid. Okay, fortunately, you're you're gonna have like the video available. Esa es la importancia de, de, de que nosotros le damos a, a, a grabar las, las sesiones. Miren, por si suceden cualquier tipo de contratiempo. Okay, so we're from Busan. Gracias. Okay. So actually, this is what we have just studied. Okay, now there is a second one over here. And I think we're gonna finish with this because we have some more exercises there. So, in the second one, we have Mi Mira from England. Mira is a, is a name, right, of a person. Is. Mm. Yes. 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 No, she's she's not. No, she's not. No, she's from Australia. Uh huh. She from Sydney. Is she? Is she? Is she from Sydney? Okay. Now, what did I teach you? Now, hay que tomar en cuenta todo. ¿Qué les acabo de de enseñar respecto a esta a esto? Is she? Ah, is, is she, she from Sydney? Para que suene más natural, okay? Is she from Sydney? Yes. Yes, she. She. She's... Yeah, she is. But her parents are from India. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. She is not from Australia originally. 
She's not from Australia originally, right? So we we are talking about about her, right? She's not from Australia originally. Uh huh. She's not from Australia. Is. 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 Uh -uh. Is. Is. is yeah now why because if you if you start like by by using it is si ustedes empiezan así eso ya no es pregunta ahí están afirmando okay, okay. so is is, is. mira mm -hmm. first language hindi mira first language hindi no She's no? not. No, but what are we talking about? We're talking about language, right? It, yeah. So, no. It's not. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, it, no, it's not. Mm -hmm. it is, it's, it's English. English. It's English. English. And that's it, right? So we have been working about it and you have done it quite well. Now we're gonna go over the next part a little bit quickly. Okay, so that we can solve some exercises over here. We're gonna start. Now, what is the sentence, people? Quickly, please, we have 10. We have 10. Um, it's Toronto. What is the sentence? Is that a... Is that a question? Do you think it's a question? Because we have uh -huh. not done here. Uh -huh. Toronto is, Toronto not... is not capital of, of Canada. Canada. Mm -hmm. Toronto is, is... Is Toronto not. is not the capital capital the capital the capital the capital of the capital hey yeah <laughs> of uh, 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 uh. Uh, yeah uh -huh. the capital of Canada. Canada, uh, yes, right? Toronto, let's see, we're gonna submit the answer. Wow, very good, so we can have one. Let's continue. Toronto is we not have the ten. Now, what about number two? Where from? Uh -huh. We are not from. We are not from. From we're, Buenos Aires. Aires. we're not we're not from from Buenos Aires. From Aires. Aires Buenos? No, right. We're not from Buenos Aires. We're gonna submit it. Wow, we have the second one. Number three. Not in class, you actually and are my you are, you are not you are Ashley. Ashley and you, you are not. Mm -hmm. Ashley and you. Ashley and me. And me. And, and me. No, we don't have and, me over here. And you. And. And. Are not in no, my class. Are not. Are not. Are not. I see you're not in, in, class, in, my, in class. my class. So we're going to say? In my in class. My... Wow, the first one, I there was a problem. Not... So what do you think it would be the best option? No, yeah. hmm? Let me see. So Ashley and you are not in my class. Ashley. You and Ashley, I think. That... Let's see if we, mm -hmm. if we change it. You and Ashley. Yes. And Ashley. Oh, you are sorry. Um. Hey, I cannot move it. So, but I think it, it's better if you say, you and Ashley are not in my class. 
<laughs> okay, so let's move on to number to number what a problem, right? To number four. <laughs> language map not first Korean is. My first my my first language my first language language is Korean. My first language is not Korean. My first language is not Korean. Number five. My mother. My mother. Not. My, my mother. My mother is not, not from, from Italy. Italy. From not Italy. Is not from Italy. From Italy. From Italy. Italy. My mother is not from Italy. Okay, number six. A little bit quickly, please. They yeah. are not my parents. They are not my parents. They are not my parents. They are not my parents. Good. Number parents, seven. Parents, Only the parents, language parents. is spoken, not India, Hindi. Aha, this one is more interesting. The language <coughs> not easy. Hindi, Hindi, Hindi is. See Hindi. Hindi is it's not. not. It's not. It's not. No, my name is. Yes. It's not the only. Hindi is not the only language spoken in India. Excellent, very good. Number eight. The the from not generic English is state teacher. The, the from the, 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 the United no. States is not Oops, no more no. time. I'm sorry. Oops, we got mm. sick from 10. And the time is three minutes for five seconds. Okay. Okay, but that was really cute, guys. No, don't worry. It was quite good. It was, quite, it was, a, a, great it was a great effort. No, but listen, you can you can do it. No, no, it's not. It's not like it's not a failure. No, no, because this is only, only the six. Yeah, it is only the, it is the first. The, the first time you did it, right? So you can you can continue practicing, okay, mm -hmm. and get a better score. So in order to try to finish with with the activities we have here, uh, well, I have I have this, which is also, tell me. Um, in English, it's <clears throat> different than que en el español cuando decimos eh, Laura y yo. En inglés primero va la otra persona y, y luego va nuestra persona. Exacto, yeah. Uh -huh. so, Laura and me. Uh -huh. Laura, and, Laura y yo. Yeah, and me, that's right. O, o, o Laura y si, si dice Laura y tú. Uh -huh. Ok, so it may be that way. Or you and Laura are not in the class. So Laura You're, and you are not in the class. Yeah, so okay. it may be in both ways. Now, hey, we have more questions, right? There were to be just no question. Am I right? Uh huh. Tell me the other one. Is he here? Is he? Is he? Ah, but uh, do you remember what about what is I told here? you? Is he? Yeah. Is he here? Good. Is she here? Is she a nurse? Is she a nurse? That sounds she better. Is she, is she, is she, is she a nurse? 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 Now, listen carefully. When you are use this wrong? word, yeah, no, but when you use this word, forget about the W. Don't pr do not pronounce the W. No, no, no. Don't pronounce it. And then you say, are, are we wrong? wrong? 
Are we wrong? Are we wrong? Are we wrong? Are we wrong? Are we wrong? Are we wrong? Are we wrong? Are we wrong? Are you Alan Parker? Are you Alan Parker? Are we wrong? Are they American? Are they American? Are they American? Do not say wrong. No, say wrong. Wrong. Are they wrong? Wrong. 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 Question over wrong. here. Jean and Ali, sisters. What's missing there? R. R. Ah. Are Jean and Ali sisters? This card, yours. It is. is. Is I in your way? Maria John's um, sister. Uh, is, uh, is Maria is uh, John's sister? You twenty five years old. Twenty five. Are you? Are you? That means divorced. Uh, is. Is. Is this your new bicycle? Is this your new bicycle? Is this your new bicycle? Good. Pretty good. So, well, you continue working on it, right? So I, I, I'm just providing some extra info about it. In other words, people, in other words, we're gonna try to finish by, by uh, seeing this link. In other words, with the verb to be, we're going to encounter uh, expressions, positive statements, such as, okay, I am contracted form. <laughs> Um, I'm you i you i i you 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 that I consider important. Now, um, I, first person singular. Se van a ir familiarizando poco a poco con ello. I, you, second person singular. Se van a fijar que más adelante estas tres son, Tercera. eh, son terceras personas, ¿ok? Les digo porque más adelante van a ir viendo uh -huh. que con esas tres, algunas cosas hay que ponerle más atención. Ok, so. Then we have. We. First person, plural. Primera persona, plural. Aquí hace falta otro en, en este enlace, fíjense. Porque aquí tendría que aparecer. You. you. Después, we, you tendría que aparecer aquí otra vez. Dos veces, teacher, sí, dos veces, you are. Solo que este es singular, tú. Y este es plural. Ustedes. Ok, ustedes. And they are A's, ok. So, ¿cómo vamos okay. a llamar este? Permítan. You are. Oh. No. ¿Cómo le vamos a llamar? ¿Este cómo se llama? Primera tú, persona. No. First person singular. singulares. Ajá, first person sin primera persona singular. Esta. Second person singular. Second person, Second person singular. Singular. A estas tres cómo les vamos a llamar? Three person singular. Third third person singular. Third person singular. First person plural. plural. First person plural. plural. And plural. they? Okay. Second. Third. Second. No. Third. They is third. third person plural. Third. Mm -hmm. Third. It's como que third. utilicemos third. esto en, este en plural. Okay? So, es sencillo, muy básico, pero 
Esto nos aclara muchas cosas en el futuro, ¿ok? So, then we have in the negative form, I'm not, you're out, and he is. Ah, this is a different way to make it uh, in the contractive form. You remember we said, you're not, he's not, she's not, it's not, we're not, you're, and they're not. But you can also say like, you aren't, he isn't, she isn't, it isn't, we aren't, and they aren't. ¿Alguna diferencia, teacher? No, it's the same. Okay, there's no any problem. So the, the, the way you feel comfortable using negative statement is the correct one. Questions, am I, are you, is he, is she, is it, are we, are they? And as you, the, well, we're gonna, we're gonna use this uh, page later because we're gonna continue talking about double H questions, okay? Where, what, why, who, what, when, why, and who, how. When. How. And you, as you can see, we can use them with the verb to be am, um, is, or are. Okay, now I think we have just finished. Ah, uh, uh, well, actually, todavía no hemos visto esto que es presente simple, okay? Um, pero después ustedes lo pueden ir como indagando, okay? Si ustedes se acuerdan, yo les dije que en tercera persona hay que ir prestando atención porque hay ciertos cambios en las estructuras. He, she, it, okay? Por eso elegí esta página. Now, if we get back to this grammar, we need to finish, right? Mm -hmm. To solve some, some exercise. Here we have uh, questions, just no questions. Yes. Okay, we need to go yes, over yes. the, yes. the knowledge check. check. The knowledge check. Okay. So, mm -hmm. and okay. it says, let me see. Uh, complete the conversations, write the correct answer. Okay, so conversation number one. Hiroshi, are you and Maiko from Japan? Yes. We are. Yeah. We are. are. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. And then, oh, you from are Tokyo? You from are, are you from Tokyo? Are you are? Are you, are you from, from Tokyo? Tokyo? No. We, we are not. not. We, we are. are. We are no, we are not. We are not. We're not. Not. We're not. From from Kyoto. Mm. We are. We are. We are Tokyo. We are. We are. We from Tokyo. Ah, uh, Kyoto. Sorry. Conversation number two. Laura from the U.S. Is Laura? Is Laura? Laura from the U.S. Is Laura? Is Laura from the U.S.? No. She's not. No, she's not. No, she's not. She's from the U.K. United Kingdom. No, right? United Kingdom. Kingdom. Is she from London? Is she from London? Is she from London? What did I teach you? Is she? Ah. Is she from London? 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 Yes. 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 She is. Yeah, she yes. is. But her parents are from Italy. Not from the United Kingdom originally. They uh, are. They are. She's. It's not. It's not. It's not. They are. They. She's not. They are not. Yeah. She's not or they, uh, they are. They are not. She's they not. are. She's not. They are not. From. 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 The parents are not. Okay, they're we're going to leave it this way. We're going to check it. Don't worry. Laura's first language, Italian. It's Laura. Oh. It's, it's Laura. It's Laura. Laura. It's Laura's first language, Laura. Italian. No. Is 
Nuts, nut. English. It's English. It's English. It's English. It's English. It's English. It's English. Selena and Carlo from Mexico. Are. Are. Are Selena and Carlo from Mexico. No. Are not. No, they, are not. They are uh, not. They are, they are they not. They are not. They are not. No, they are not. No. From Brazil. They are far from Brazil. They are. They are from Brazil. Are you uh, from Brazil? Are you from Brazil are? too? Are you from Brazil? Are you from Brazil? No. 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 I am not. No, I am not. No. 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 I'm from Peru. No. So, your first language is Spanish. Um, so, is your first language is Spanish? Yes. 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 yes, it is. 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 We're going to see the answers, yes. and I think we're going to finish with it. Okay. Quite good, people. So, I think... Okay. Okay, good, all right, great. No traducirlas en español. Quite good, people. No mistakes. Excellent. Great job. Great job. Congrats. So, I think uh, it's been enough tonight. I don't know if you have any uh, questions. Uh, tomorrow, you, have, you are in charge of um, studying about syllables. Because that's the topic for tomorrow. Okay? It's about syllable stress. So investigate about the way to identify syllables in English, okay? So I will look for information. Also, actually, I have some exercises for you to nurse about syllable stress, okay? And also be aware about working about numbers. We're just getting back to numbers. But as you can see over here, we are going to be like learning numbers um, um, not only up to 20, but Mm, more than 100, okay? Ya vamos, ya nos van dirigiendo a aprendernos los números allá hasta los 200 por lo menos, okay? Así que empecemos esta semana. Okay. Now, questions? Comments? Participations? Now, remember... La semana hasta el jueves para llenar la semana 3. Ah, uh, yeah, Margarita. Uh, thank you for remembering me, Amare. Esta semana hay una actividad muy importante. ¿Cuál es? El examen. Uh, el midterm. El midterm, ok. El examen de medio curso. Entonces, lo pueden empezar a trabajar ya. Ok, si así les parece. Y sin dejar de lado las actividades que tenemos para esta semana, ok. So I think we're gonna stay we're gonna stop over here. I hope to see you tomorrow and let's continue practicing English. Recuerdense, mañana lo primero voy a preguntar, hey, ¿qué aprendiste este día? ¿Cuál palabra? ¿Cuál pronunciación? ¿Qué frase? Algo nuevo deben de haber aprendido en cada sesión. Okay. So let us see you tomorrow, people. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.